Okay. Maggie, Maggie was a mess, but we're on a new run here. <clears throat> Already kind of did Isaac. I don't really want to show him off. <clears throat> Let's show off someone who's not a mess, <clears throat> but is good nonetheless. That's Judas. You know, I played poorly with Maggie, so, so I'm playing with someone who might not actually be that good. Whoa, okay. Dr. Fetus. Uh, we're gonna start off the run with Dr. Fetus and Judas. Uh, I don't know it, how much my raw damage is affected by that. I think it only affects the tears, but this is a very powerful item. Just, <clears throat> just to be perfectly clear here. And I can check for every single secret room. I can do lots of cool stuff here. Burnt penny, more bombs. Don't need them now. Uh, there's not really much stuff that overwrites Dr. Fetus as an attacking tier. can't open those anymore, so I lose out on the additional coins gained from them. Uh, so I guess no top secret room? Or must be in somewhere pretty strange. Uh, Judas does not start with a bomb. Uh, instead, Judas starts with 30 pieces or 3 pieces of silver. Uh, which I now bolster to a significant amount. No sense in blowing this up. If I can get a soul heart or something, I would love to go into that curse room, but I don't really need to. Make quick work of even Black Widow, who is the toughest widow besides perhaps Pink. You know, this is a champion boss, so I get. I, a stately two pickups instead. Uh, this won't affect me too much, but it will let me to see where the boss is. Temperance will create a blood donation machine, which is Judas. You don't really care much about. I didn't even use the uh, the book of Belial, which I should have. And maybe I'll find some use for it. We got the basement here. Couple bombs, we can use them in the mom fight or something. Not the mom fight, the it lives fight. Provided I get there and don't die pre mom. I don't know if we picked up the hourglass. I tried to thread the needle, but unfortunately, it just wasn't fast enough. A lot of flies can be very dangerous. Try to use that to see if I could get any uh, hearts out of it. Oh, and we can bomb into the, the shop even without a key, so that's good. That can be very helpful. I'm, unfortunately, no... Devil, which is literally just Book of Belial. Luck down, that's bad. Tears down, that's kind of bad. Shot speed, okay, we got a lot of bad, bad, terrible, terrible ones here. Luckily, you only need to shoot about one bomb at a time, pretty much. <clears throat> Eternal Heart would be very kind of <clears throat> Whoa. Lots of flies, unfortunately. Flies are bad with Judas. Judas does not like going up against flies. There we go. Eternal Heart, please. 
Okay, now I have to take no damage with it, is the thing. And it is only the basement. I can kind of just hold them down. This guy will be a little bit tougher to hit. Should take him out. Just that. No Krampus, please. Don't need Maggie. Don't need the quarter. Actually, I already picked up the quarter. I do want to hit Satan. Okay, excellent. We could try to do the catacombs here, no damage, but I don't know how well that'll work. But you could try it. Honestly, what I will probably end up doing is I'll use these uh, the challenge runs that you can replay. I'll use them to try to uh, beat challenge runs later on if I can't get them. Doctor's remote. We've already gotten that. Guess what? We're skipping. We're basically already doing the challenge run. Just wanted to throw that one in front of him to slow him down a bit. They can be hard to intuit sometimes. Oh my god. Sometimes they're just annoying to hit. Because they move around in the same way that Larry does, which is completely wantonly carefree. It might take a while, but we will hit him eventually. Hopefully. Thank goodness. Oh, that sweet, sweet soul heart. That's unlikely to be it, but this could very well be the shot. Let's see what we can do in the catacombs here. The hollow. I've got nothing barring me, which is good. More HP. That's fine for Judas. We'll come back for that. We'll grab that on the way out because we're going to go in that curse room. No sense in wasting that. You will notice real quick, um, I used the, the boulder to cross here, and now it just got deleted as one of those uh, regular platforms. I've always found that kind of interesting. Okay, took a hit that I didn't want to take. Took another hit I didn't want to take. I could exit the room and reset, but guess what that would mean I'd have to do? Fight all these enemies again. I'd like to make these bombs spectral or something, that'd be nice. I'll definitely take the half heart there. Let's see what we've got in here. Just a ton of coins. And subsequently a ton of bombs as well. So yeah, doing this floor no damage, that was a fat lot of good. That was, that was rough, unfortunately. The spiders just suck. Strength could be useful. If I can get to max HP, I'll actually come back here. But I think it's incredibly unlikely, given that I'm going to go into the sacrifice room. I've decided that it's unlikely I'm going to get to the shop, so I'm going to start using him. I can now get to the shop. Give me the compass. That'd be nice. Heart's kind of nice. Okay, treasure map. I'm happy with that. I didn't go and sacrifice your man. <laughs> always expect bombs. Always step away. Okay, nothing in there for me. 
I could actually use the strength card to refill my HP here, but why would I need it when it's right there? Three pieces of silver. Yeah, we'll take the bomb, sure. It's still in the catacombs, unfortunately. Place you don't want to be. We're, we're getting kind of unlucky with all that stuff. nice thing about Dr. Fetus is you're not really affected by many negative stat attributes or anything of that nature. What, what, what's going on here? Why, why, why am I getting so many soul hearts? What's the game trying to tell me? Got a top secret and an eternal heart. Okay, yeah, something's awry here. Something's a little... Rotten in the state of Denmark. Uh, I didn't mean to get bumped there, but I did. Still didn't take too much, and hopefully will not persist in taking too much. We will check out in here. Because stuff like that can happen. It's not always double bomb. Sometimes it's double sulfur. Fantastic. A pill to pop. That was to be expected. The health down is probably the single worst one there is. If I get down to 1 HP again, of course that will turn into a health up, which is, is fine. But until then, it, you know, it, I, I'm working so hard to get my HP up. It can literally just, you, you know, you get a boss item and it, you, you lose it because it fell down. Mom's bra, we haven't gotten it yet, but you hit the space bar and all enemies get grossed out. Not something I'm particularly fond of, both in concept and in reality. Serum, I, I don't remember ever seeing before. Now this is the second time I've seen it. A shiny key for me. The shop's gonna be right in here. You can tell the shop because that one offshoot room on the bottom there. That's just how you know. Check it out. Nothing good. I want to kill these these stragglers first. Before I take on the main train there. It was to take one damage from my own bomb or half damage from him, I opted to take less damage. Get another bomb. Regular hollow. I don't know how well this affects the damage of my bombs. It seems like it does. Fortunately, my tiers could be a little bit higher and I would be able to damage these. I would be able to throw out more bombs, honestly. Double room, pageant boy, terrible. But we do get a nickel out of it, which occasionally is okay. We'll take Guppy's tail. <coughs> Whoops. Should have blasted Satan there real quick. Um, anything else I want? Nope. Try to do the depths no hit, but again, no real guarantees here. I'm going to beeline to the boss first. We destroy those even though whether I come back through this way or not. I'm 
Look at that, no damage yet. Great job, man. Small rock, please. Double business. I'm in the business of giving you the business. I'm, I take it all back, I'm sorry. We'll, we'll take a couple points. Uh, it looks like I shot that the wrong way. I wasn't even thinking about it. So we got war. This is a tough one. I took damage from my own bomb, too, so there's that. But at least that means, hey, I'm not going to do this one. No hit. Last enemies are the enemies and bombs. Okay, that's good. I can try to position my bombs in such a way that it slows him down. Like so. And that should be it. Cube of meat. That'll give me some defensive prowess. I took damage, so... Um, fortunately, we're in Necropolis again. Let's pop a quick peek over here. And there it is, yeah. Okay, that, that was kind of BS that, that hit me, but... Spelunker hat. Let's me see into the room before I enter it. <clears throat> it also lets you find the secret room and top secret room. I know what you're thinking. Why did you do that to save the key for the shop? And it's like, eh, the shop's probably going to be greed. So I should be able to see what room this is. So I know it's an empty room. Functionally empty. But no, I don't have to, like, look around for uh, special types of rooms. Should deal with a good bit of them. for it. It's just right there. Me. Kind of unnecessary with Miss, Mr. Fetus here, but... Excellent. This is my shop, which I can't bomb my way into, unfortunately. Patience is how you beat these guys. Patience and killing the chargers. They're, they're hard to hit sometimes. That's not too bad. I'd like to see myself get a nice key or three here. Guppy's head, Guppy's tail, of course, makes you want more, more keys. I know that, like I said, I know some people are not a fan of guppies. Okay, let's take the hit from the Eternal Flyer, my bomb, and I didn't want either, to be honest. This is not really a good boss to fight. That, that was annoying. The, the the swarm room here in the Necropolis can be really bad. Honestly, the Necropolis should be really tough. Keep this. Double Soul Heart is fantastic, but not good. Got hit there, too. I love that this room is just hoppers, though. That makes me very hoppy. 
Uh, hosts? No, knights. Knights are easy now. Key, please. Lots of money, lots of bombs, no keys. Guess what I need? That's right, keys. What's in here? Let's get three keys. There's one out of the three I want. Right. Keep it coming. Start breaking these for fun, why not? You can kill these. Oh man, that's so hard. It's just hunky dory. 10% chance. Uh, pill, probably bad pill, yeah. Uh, most pills in this pool seem to be bad. Sometimes you luck out and they're all really good, and sometimes they're really bad. Uh, this one, it doesn't matter. Mostly because I am... I have Dr. Fetus, so I don't, I don't care how bad the pills are. And I'm Judas, and I, I like using Judas a lot. Hopefully they give me an opportunity to go down... And visit Satan. Ah, oh, fuck. I meant to go to the shop. I thought I had more keys. Whoopsie. That was uh, not well thought out. I thought I had all the keys I needed. Like, I just internalized it as that. <laughs> That's fine. Let's keep it going. Oh, look at that. We find a secret room right away. Just money. And a lot of bombs. You know, 50% chance to get them is is, is quite enjoyable. I meant to throw it the other way there. Shit. I want to kill him on solid land so I don't get what happened there in the center. But that, that was going to happen no matter what with the, the center reward. This will count as red heart damage, so I am going to try to avoid... Killing him, although he does increase your chance of getting the uh, devil room. They thankfully all disappear. Just kind of figuring out. Oh, hey, what's the what's the interval that I shoot him at? And the answer is you just you throw bombs and you don't care. Larry's are just gonna explode here. Larry's already very susceptible to bombs. Okay, mm. didn't do anything for me. That's fantastic. That's a lot of HP, though. Got the item, please. No. This is what I took. I took Guppy just in case, but Guppy does not blend terribly well with Dr. Fetus. But you don't kick Guppy out of bed no matter what. Oh, I did get hit by another fly there. That's always disheartening. I can move that around if it wasn't having it. Well, you know where my first key's going to. Flat penny is much better. That'll give me keys instead of bombs. Key, please. Nope. So you gotta you gotta move here, because otherwise they will get up in your business like that. Okay, so, so no keys. Just taking guesses here. Mom's foot is going to be my predominant way to damage her. 
Wrong selection again. I'm not doing so hot with picking the right one. Got hit there because I'm too busy trying to dodge nine other enemies. All right. All right. Took the hit there, unfortunately. Oh, mom, I hate you. Giving me the business right now. I just get stuck there and I don't know what happens. I'm just getting screwed over a little bit. Finally. Start leaving bombs in my way just for fun. I'm already taking a million damage. That hit somehow. That should be it. We got Sansa. Hopefully, let's go beat Mom's heart. I know which way to go at least. But we also got the utero, so <laughs> good job me for dealing with a, a tough part again. Should also take this room, definitely. One up. Now keys are all, well, they're not useless. I can still get the old chests. Now they're just not as good, I'll tell you that. Not happy with that grimace. He may help me though. I'm gonna have to guess exactly where he's going. I hate this fucking game sometimes. What am I supposed to do here? Like, really? There we go. Some HP. Oh, the sun. Great. The uh, sun, as you know, full heal. Don't really need the bombs, but why not? Okay, that was... Did not mean to get hit there. I kind of was looking somewhere else. Shafts of light appear. Yo, storm back on stage. Those purple shots are homing shots. Oh, right, he does that. I forgot. Watch the ground. Make sure nothing appears on you. If we beat him, we'll unlock his pony and I'll be able to fly as a spacebar item. Saving the sun as long as I can. The sun is a full red heart heal. And it will also reveal the map and whatnot, but it's far less important. We will take the pony over Belial. Uh, and now it's just uh, an item that allows me to fly. Hit the, the spacebar button. It also shoots out the shafts of light, too. This is a pretty rare item. Got a tough one ahead here. But this is just a womb. I don't know why he took three hits. That's a little ridiculous, don't you think? They, of course, bounce off the rocks instead. So, I don't have spectral bombs that go through the rocks. But I do have the ability to uh, deal with them in a pretty easy way. Don't have any. 
We'll check in there. Maybe some coins, which will give us keys. Exactly. Quite a significant amount. More keys. Oh, we want to actually go in here. We could skip a room that way. That's safer. I hate these guys. Just gonna use this to get slightly higher health. Maybe some soul hearts. I can use the meat boy to uh, kill any potential red flies, like so. I can't see them all too well though. The meat boy. I just would like a soul heart or two. Game squid over flat penny. That gives me a, a chance to fire a uh, tar tier, which will slow enemies down. Fuck yeah. Nah, worth wasting my time, honestly. There's a tar tier right there. I can fly so I can just murderize him. That's good. Flight is really helping here, just for me to not have to worry about the creep. One last one. <laughs> and we get to go down to see Satan. <clears throat> Might not beat him, we unlock Robo Baby. We're using Judas to beat Mom's heart. And the wafer, which is for beating the game seven times. Really close to Satan, fortunately. Don't really need these keys much, but potential. Mr. Fistula there. Still have a pretty safe way to deal with him. As you might imagine, flight is very, very useful in any of the higher, or lower, arguably, areas of the, of the game. There we go. And there's a heart in case I take any damage. Uh, which I just did, because that was brutal. Uh, the bloodshot eyes are very difficult. One, two, three, drop that, fire, mist. We'll go right into that, yeah. Try to hit both. Hopefully avoid both of their Brimstone shots. Just 
try to maneuver here pretty carefully. Bullet hell style. When he does that attack, that's when you try to pass so you avoid his uh, brimstone beam. Just remember, don't go anywhere you were before. I take damage. I've got a lot of speed here. We're going to fire that off just to blow them away. Got the monster manual. So, Judas also got Satan. And that is that. Much better run this time. We've already seen this ending. He's just going to turn into all the characters, I believe. Yeah. Not too shabby. Dr. Fetus, obviously, run winner. Very powerful. So we did that, that's a Judas run, that's pretty good. Um, if that was fast enough of a run, then I might try to squeeze in another here. Yeah, I guess we'll just punch this one in. This was a successful run. I like to run back runs that I don't win, but if I if I if I lose the run, I'll I'll push it push it back to another one. Part out of frustration and part to have some payoff for watching my failures. Like the last video, double failure in a row. Very absurd. Horrible. Not absurd. Very likely. But awful nonetheless. With Judas, I did alright. But again, his power level is so high. Judas, it's hard to have bad runs with Judas unless you're bad at the game. And I'm, you know, I'm, I feel sufficiently practiced now. Um, I will still fail. You know, I still have to die a hundred times. I just don't want my death to go too far over a hundred. If that wasn't the last achievement that I can unlock, I'd be happy with that. It certainly won't be. What did we unlock? Money equals power. The monster manual. Let me break all these down. So, Robo Baby. Uh, I think we briefly saw me use technology. Uh, technology 2, I want to say. Maybe we didn't see it all. Robo Baby is just a familiar that shoots that. The wafer turns all damage you take into half hearts instead of full hearts. Very useful for later floors. Monster Manual is one of the worst items in the game. It's an active item. It's a book. You use it, and uh, it gives you a familiar for that room. And I think it's like a three-room charge. It's awful. It's also spelled wrong. Monster Manual. Money equals power. The higher your money count is, the more damage you possess. It can get pretty good. Got eight endings there. Oh, yeah, I guess I should have shown off. Well, we know we missed the the one ending because we didn't get the wafer. Um, also, 108 divided by 2, it gives us 54. We're about 54% of the items. A little bit more than that, actually. And looking in here, you see, um, I've seen about 50% of them, you know. A lot down here, big gaps here, but up here, you've seen a lot. Alright, and that's going to be it, and then we are going to I'll maybe do another one. Uh, thanks so much for watching. My name is John, or Gaff196, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Well, I, I should say bye-bye, but I'm editing the end of this right here. Yeah, I'm just leaving this in as a brief transition. You should have already clicked over by now. You know, go, go to the next video. Seriously.